From Argentina to Florida to Thunder Bay, Ontario, a Kelowna filmmaker shot 1,000 hours of footage to reel in what might be the biggest fish tale he's ever told. The whole idea of the film uh, was, uh, was a launch off, sort of was this idea that uh, four anglers were going to go down to Argentina and see if they could find a new world record brook trout. But what really happened was that they became aware of what was going on in this place in Argentina, in Patagonia, and the film changed gears and it became more about saving the place. And the film goes on from there to see one's man's journey and how he contributes to the conservation of that place. That man is Bart Bonim, an executive of Patagonia, the company that helped to produce the film. And the journey is his own calling to conservation. For me, uh, and I think for Travis, it was kind of an epiphany that we both had uh, in the making of this movie, that, that the time for doing nothing is, is literally come and gone, and it's time to get up off your behind and actually get involved. Lowe loves a good angle, whether that's through his hobby of fly fishing or behind the lens, which is why he also follows this story to Canada's north. We needed a hook or, or a backstory to tell, and what the story that I found was the story of a guy named J.W. Cook who caught a world record brook trout that st stood for 100 years, and that actually that story took place in Nipigon, which is just east of Thunder Bay. A record that stands to this day. But what really happened on that trip remains a mystery. Check out Lowe's feature film this November 5th at the Laurel Packing House. The event kicks off at 5 p.m. Tickets are $20 and it all goes to a good cause. It's going to groundwork on rivers, creeks here in the Okanagan, such as Mission. Any place that we can put money towards uh, groundwork in bringing our rivers and streams back. For more information, go to findingfontanellis.com. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.